Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the basics of Gorilla Tag Gaming. So basically, um, there's going to be a lot of new Gorilla Tag players coming in the game soon because because uh, Christmas is coming up soon. So I thought I'd make a video making a uh, make a video about basically the basics of, of Gorilla Tag and um, that's about it. Um, so I've been playing Gorilla Tag pretty much ever since the release of the game and. Uh, over time, I've regained a lot of skills, so I think now would be a, like appropriate time to make a basic gorilla, like a gaming basics, the basics of gorilla tag. So, yeah. So I'll see you in the forest. So starting off, um, uh, something that I see, uh, something that a lot with new gorilla tag players is that they'll be extremely slow. So basically, um, how do you go fast? Basically. So, your primary thing of going fast is that you want to basically stay as low as you can to the ground. So, when running, you don't want to go up like this at all. You don't want to do that. That's going to make you go... That's, you, you can't hit the ground fast enough. So, instead, you want to go something like this. So, you can gain... If you do it properly and are efficient with how you run then you can gain top speed and you can maintain that speed as long as you stay low to the ground even sometimes i mess it up so it may take some some practice so basically you just want to go like this so you kind of want to move your hand in a way in which you are like flicking your wrist so like so like this so you're going back like this so you go like this like this and you put that together and sometimes um if you're in a really desperate situation people start my flailing their arms around but no you don't want to do that because what happens is that when you flail you flail your arms around like this you end up hitting yourself upwards and then you and then people can just jump up in the air and tag you and you don't want that so okay so instead of flailing your arms around Instead, what you want to do is that uh, you want to try to s try to maintain a consistent kind of movement that I just explained earlier. But instead of just going like this, this is more of a way to kind of preserve your energy. So, but then when you're actually being chased, you want to you want to go something like this. Something like this. And also be careful doing that because I've had instances where I've like clacked my controllers together and then I ended up breaking them. So be careful when doing that. So so something like this. Like a movement like this. So the movement like still so the static movement looks like this. So you want to go like something like that. Like you're crawling. But like really fast. So this can actually drain your energy so use it sparingly so you can also apply that technique when you're climbing up things like this but like more like putting your hands side by side like this going like that so that's basically the basics of running now let's get into the basics of climbing there are many kinds of climbing depending on what you're trying to climb so let's start off with pinch climbing probably one of the easiest things easiest ways to climb so, for example, if we have this tree here, what you want to do is that you want to kind of like hug the tree like this. This is pinch climbing. So, if you're trying to climb a tree, you can pinch climb like this. So, having your hands like kind of hugging the tree a little bit. So, yeah, there's that. And then you also have something that goes a little bit like this so so what you want to do is that you want to I don't really even know what to call this but you just, what you want to do is that you want to just go like this this can be applied to many different things but more more specifically this this is mainly applied to this ninja wall here but it doesn't always have to be on this ninja wall. It can also be like in between like a wall and a tree. So you can go like this. Although it's a lot slower 
if you're not being chased, you can just do this. It's extremely slow, but it gets the job done, kind of. So, that's about it for climbing. Um, there's also something called a uh, elevator climb, where your arm goes over here, and it goes around like this. And you kind of want to do like a motion like this. You can't really see it, but your, what my arm is doing behind the wall is it's going like like this like I'm like I'm climbing as it's as if my arm is like my hand is climbing a staircase so you want to move your arm out like this go up go back on the wall and then down and then just go like in a circle like this so I'll demonstrate it one more time so your arm goes through here then your arm goes like this in a circular motion <laughs> so there's also something called bear climbing. Bear climbing is another essential part of gorilla tag because it can make you, it can give you a swift escape for uh, running away from a lava monkey or if you're trying to chase someone. And so uh, this right here is a pretty good example for um, pretty good demonstration for bear climbing. Basically, what it is is exactly what it sounds like. So your hands go like this, like that. So you kind of want to just like. Like kind of launch yourself like like this so the motion looks like this the static motion and then when you put that motion into act you kind of want to you kind of want to focus your main hitting point with like the bottom part of your palm like right here as you can see i'm kind of hitting it with the bottom part of my palm so yeah that's basically it for bear climbing. Um, it can also be used on trees. Um, one of my routes contains this tree right here, which I actually can bear climb like this, like that. It can make for a swift escape. So what I would do is I would go like this and go up here, run up and then just go make my way up to there. But there's one more type of climbing that a lot of players have trouble grasping. It's called uh, wall climbing. And basically what it is, is you going like this. Like that. So you kind of climb the wall. You kind of climb a wall like this. So you would go like that. It can also be like this too. So like you would go over here. It can also be like this. And then from here you would do something like this. But we'll get to this part later where you can do this. How do you wall climb? So... It's not really that hard once you get the motion down. There's a specific motion you have to do. And basically, what you have to do is uh, you have to have your hand up against the wall like this. So like kind of like this, like kind of like you're karate chopping and your hand is flat across the wall. Now what you want to do is that you want to kind of move your hand up and down like this. Something like this. So even I kind of have trouble with doing this. So basically, what you do is that you just do what I just t showed you, and you can kind of do like a vertical climbing of sorts. This isn't really the best wall to demonstrate it on. It works better on s different kinds of walls, so like like that. Let's get into more complicated things that most players will have to start doing in more competitive uh, lobbies. So, one thing there is is called wall running. Wall running, wall running is a a really is a extremely fat. It's, it's a really good technique for getting away. So what you would do is that you would have your hand up against the wall, similar to how it is when you are trying to do a wall climb. So what you would do from there is that you would kind of move your hand down and down like this so like a motion so the static motion looks like this so like kind of like you're so kind of like you're like like hitting something behind you so like your arm kind of goes back there a little bit so like and then you don't want to go as slow as I showed you but you want to go like pretty fast like this because you kind of have to keep up with what you're doing so again like this so yeah, there you go. The complicated uh, thing 
that is also in Gorilla Tag and used in many competitive lobbies, and it's probably one of the most important aspects of becoming a good Gorilla Tag player is branching. So now branching can be used for a variety of things. It can be used for a route, it can be used for a escape method, it could be used to cut players off when you're a lava monkey. So um how it works is basically is jumping from one branch to another. So you kinda go like this. So like kinda just one branch to another branch. It can, it can be fast, it can be slow, depending on what your situation is. I have a branching technique that goes from here, 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 and I walk all the way up over here, and then I go to this, I like this, go up, go to this branch, go up here, go to here, here, and here, and then just repeat it, like that. So that's a good example of branching. So how do you do branching? So what it is, is basically, you kind of just want to, so here's the tip. Every single tree that you see in Gorilla Tag, at least in forest, is a copy of each other. So every tree is a copy of each other. So they're just the same tree, just scaled down or sized up. So. Basically, what you can do is that you can go to like a small tree, for example, and you can, uh, one of the smallest trees is like somewhere down here, I think it's this one. This is an extremely, this is the smallest tree in the game, I'm pretty sure. And basically, what you can do is you can branch, you can, you can practice like going up here. So you would go from like here, you can start off slow. So from here, here, here to like here you can kind of just continue to go faster and faster with with every progression you make so yeah and then eventually you can start going from one branch to another like this it, it can be you can start off slow that's okay because we eventually have to start somewhere so you can start off pretty slow and then as time goes on uh, and as you get used to the technique it can get better and better you can improve your technique so that's about it for branching so actually branching works in works differently in different maps it works better in some and it works worse in others so for example the mountains map which people refer to as um, the trees there aren't really good for branching unless you're in a very very specific situation so you shouldn't branch on that map unless you're again in a very specific situation. So now let's get on to juking. See, juking is really good. It's a really good technique that you can learn over time, and it's a very good technique just for about any any situation. Especially when it only works if you're the one being chased by a lava monkey. So let's say there's a lava monkey right here, and then. Let's say you're right here, maybe what you could do is that you might have to move earlier than you might think because for you it might look like they're right here, but in reality they could be like right in front of you because of time de time zone delay. So what you have to do is actually move quickly using what, I, what you learned about when you were learning how to run. And boom, there you go, you just performed a juke. But you haven't gotten them off your back quite yet. So you might need to apply your branching technique, make your own roots. And you can successfully evade a lava monkey. That's pretty good at the game, if, if, if anything. So that's about it for juking. That about does it for this video. So if you have I missed anything, please leave in the comments below. And if you like the video, please like it. But only if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't leave a like. Maybe dislike it. Just like it doesn't really matter, so but please like it only if you like it because it tells me that I should make more content like this. If you, if I missed anything again, leave it in the comment section down below so I can maybe cover it in another video talking about things I missed in this video. So uh, subscribe if you like my channel, only if you like my channel. Um, that's about it. So see you guys later.